Hello YouTube, this is PSP Swim Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how you can download Windows 10 for free. Now the method I'm going to be doing it is by uh, downloading it manually from the actual Microsoft website. There's the another way which I'm going to make a separate tutorial on uh, within the next uh, next few days. I'm going to um, show you how to uh, download it and install it from using your Windows updates, but today I'm going to show you how to do it manually. Uh, and by doing it manually, I think you have a better advantage of um, of choosing how you want to install your system, whether you want to boot it up from a USB or from a CD. It gives you the option, and it actually gives you the option to uh, to select which um, Windows 10 version you want. But this is going to be a trial, though, so you're you're on your own when it comes to getting the product key. But I'm pretty sure there's a lot of resources out there in Google and people that could have help you with on on how to activate your trial but I'm just showing you how to down, uh, download it for free not activate it for free I'm not sure if that makes sense but whatever guys I'm just showing you how to download the official Windows 10 from the actual website so uh, right now I'm in the official Microsoft website I'm gonna have the link in the description below and it's gonna directly lead you to a page like this so uh, you wanna go down and you wanna select uh, what what bit you have whether you have a 32 bit or a 64 bit if you don't ha if you don't know you could just go to start right click computer go to properties and right here where it says system type it says 64 bit operating system so that's how you know which bit you have so you could just exit out of this go back and click download tool now for 64 bit version so I'm gonna save the file, and I already did that. So I'm gonna op I'm gonna reopen it, and uh, click yes if the user control panel pops up. Now this is what's gonna pop up once you uh once you run what you download it. Uh, you get to choose what you want to do. Whether you want to uh, upgrade this PC now, so you could directly do it from here, and not doing it through the Windows update, or you could just uh, create installation made this for another PC. Uh, that's that's exactly what we're gonna do because we're doing it manually and I prefer this way because if something happens you could always go back instead of having a corrupted system and all that stuff so you want to click next I'm choosing this one so to install it manually and click next and you get to select your language I'm surprised by default it's not gonna say English it's gonna say some I, I don't even know what's that so I'm just gonna select English United States uh, I'm just gonna put Windows 10 home for now and and again I'm gonna just put 64 bit for me I'm not sure about in your case I'm pretty sure you're uh, most of the computers nowadays are 64 bits, so I'm just gonna click next. And this is where you get to choose how you want to download your um, your system, whether you want to burn it into a CD or whether you want to boot it up from a USB flash drive. Uh, here's a little note. Uh, right now, I already I already went through all these steps and I already got my operating system in, and it's right here. It's in my USB flash drive. Uh, the first thing uh, you want to do is you want to if you're doing it from a USB flash drive, which I highly recommend because the operating system is it installs a lot faster than reading it from CD. Uh, you're gonna need a USB flash drive, a uh, thumb drive, whatever you like to call it, and make sure it's four gigabytes in capacity or above. It doesn't matter how much whether you have 16 gigabytes, but make sure it's at least four gigabytes. And what and once you uh, connect your flash drive. Now let's say I just create. I just uh, this is my flash drive. I just um, connected. You want to make sure you want to format it as well, uh, and you format it by going to by right clicking and clicking format. But if you have important files, you could just um, here, let me minim minimize this. You could just go into your desktop, uh, create a folder. Oops, you want to create a folder, and from there you could just drag whatever important stuff you got in there. You just want to drag it into the into the new folder and then from there you could just format the USB and once you're done installing the operating system and all that you could uh, move your style move your stuff back into the USB so yeah so uh, once I'm not gonna click on this because I already have it done but once you click next that's when the actual operating system is downloading into your USB and um, and from there you're gonna wait like I don't know an hour or two hours. It de it all depends on your internet because you you are downloading three gigabytes off the internet, so it's a little big file for like some people. For me, it's a it's a, a decent file to download. So I'm gonna but once it finishes to 100%, it's gonna say uh, congratulations or something like that. Something that's that's pretty obvious that it finished downloading and it's safely and it's safe to remove your USB and start booting it up. 
and it's gonna give you the only option which says finish so yeah guys that's basically it that's how you could download Windows 10 for free this is my first part of the video uh, the second part of the video is actually how to install how to boot up the USB that we just created right now uh, I'm pretty sure in two days which is gonna be Saturday July oh August 1st uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have my video on how to install it and from there within the next couple of days the video that everyone is is gonna want how to downgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 7 and maybe how to downgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 8 but I'll see alright guys thank you so much for watching my video I really appreciate it if you hit a like button um, post a comment and especially subscribe guys I'm really thank you for, thank you for all of you that are watching my videos and, and that kept up with me within the next last months so yeah thank you so much guys peace